We apply an RFID tag to each box as it comes through. And then through the production process, we produce the patties, package them, and put the package into the box that contains the RFID tag. Once we accumulate 98 boxes, we form a full pallet. That pallet is then sent through a stretch wrapper. At that time, the RFID sensors are red and they're associated to that particular pallet ID. When we put the product into storage, as it comes out of the cooler, we read that pallet as well. So that's our second checkpoint at the facility. Finally, once it's shipped to the distribution center, once it's loaded onto that truck, we have another RFID sensor that will pick up that transaction there. It really lets us be more proactive. So instead of just managing our inventory here, we can see what's happening out in the field. In Garner, North Carolina, the cases are unloaded at this distribution center before being delivered to restaurants in that region. As you can tell, this is a very busy distribution center. We do about 1,300 deliveries a week and we move roughly 600,000 cases throughout the facility. When we deal with beef, especially fresh beef, there are certain temperatures that it needs to be held at and it's a very tight temperature zone. So being able to track that product and to tell you it ranged from this point to this point from a temperature perspective. It's what we have to do in today's world. With blockchain, we pull it up on a dashboard and it's telling us all that information that we're looking for. We have to be able to prove to our customer that we made sure that that product was in the correct temperature zone from the time we received it to the time we delivered it. Once the beef makes it to a restaurant's cooler, all parties in the supply chain continue to monitor the product right up until it's taken out to be prepared for customers. Well, we're very excited about the results we see from the beef pilot. The ultimate goal is to be able to put this technology in every product that we send to the restaurant. Inventories, it's a challenge for the restaurant because their sales fluctuate daily depending on what's happening in their market. So us being able to manage and know what's in the back of that restaurant we could bring them exactly what they need. It's not about just digitizing your supply chain. It's reducing hours of reconciliations that companies go through. It also optimizes the inventory throughout the supply chain. You're going to be able to ultimately have the right product at the right time at the right place. Can you imagine how much waste today can be prevented with that kind of information? That's what makes this pilot unique, because manufacturing, distribution, and customers are willingly sharing the data, and that is really the common goal that everybody is striving towards. Mm -hmm.